Sanjay from the High Performance Academy and we're here with Jamie from MoTeC to talk about their new M1 packages, the GPA and GPR. Now we spoke to Jamie a few months ago when we were at World Time Attack in Sydney about the new M1 build software. One of the things with the M1 ECUs is up until now they haven't been available for general consumption. So Jamie, this new GPA and GPR, these packages basically put the M1 ECU into, they make it available for the guy at home with a car, they can put it on any engine, is that right? Yeah, the new GPA and GPR packages are our way of making M1 available to more than just one engine at a time. So they have ref sync modes that you can modify, they can do different patterns for camshafts, they can deal with different drive-by-wire motor setups and all the things people expect from a more general package. So we're talking, basically it's similar now to the existing 100 series ECUs, the M400, 600 and 800 where you can buy a, a general purpose ECU and then configure it to suit your specific engine? Yeah, that's, that's right. It's more down that style than the, uh, the other packages we've done with M1 like R35 or FT86. But there are still some limitations on it that mean that you have to choose the right package for your application. But certainly you can just take this same package and we've run it in a four cylinder turbo a Coyote engine, an LS engine, without modifying any of the package at all. So yeah, you can certainly use it across multiple applications. So let's talk about the two packages. You've got GPA and GPR. What, what are the differences between those two packages? The GPA package has all the features you'd normally expect from a high-end system. So it's got dual drive-by-wire, it's got camshaft control, inlet and exhaust, um, it's got turbocharger control, uh, it's got full knock control on board without the need for any external amplifiers. Um, it's a fully featured ECU, it just misses some of the race specific uh, items. The GPR package is our race package and it has gear shift ignition cuts, it's got traction control, launch control and anti-lag. So those ones are added to that product. So this is kind of like the older password unlock functions that you had with the 100 series where you would buy a, a base ECU and then unlock the functions that you wanted. With this, you choose either GPA for your general automotive or if you're more race orientated, the GPR? Yeah, that's right. The, we've gone away from the options for these particular products. We've decided that you buy the package to suit your application. So the GPA package is your, your lower cost package that doesn't have the traction and launch control and all the things that are really very race specific. And if you need those functions, you buy the GPR. You don't have to pay an additional fee for drive-by-wire. You don't have to pay money for cam control. You don't have to pay anything additional for knock control. It all just works straight out of the box. Now, let, let's just talk a little bit about the, the price point for the ECUs. Uh, I understand the pricing is going to vary depending on the market, but let's just compare it back to the existing 100 series ECUs. How will these GPA and GPR uh, products compare to the 100 series? Well, in a bit of a surprise, we've actually made things much better value for money than we've had with the M800 range. So if you buy a box with the same pinout that the M800 had, so the small M1 box, that would be uh, the ones down over here, um, that's going to be priced at what you'd normally have spent for an M400, but it'll have eight injectors, eight ignition, knock control, drive-by-wire, cam control and diagnostic logging all included at no extra cost. You don't have to buy those upgrades, which you would have had to with an M800. The GPR package adds about the same price as what advanced functions would have added to the M800 box. And then what we've added to that is the larger box, which is the plastic connected M150s, which have got four connectors. That particular box is going to be priced at where you would have bought the M800 before. Again, this with no pricing addition for drive-by-wire, for cam control, for knock or any of those options. They're all just included, whereas in M800 you would have had to pay for them extra. So in essence, you're actually getting better value for money out of these. You're getting more functionality for the same money. That's um, going to bring them into the realms of something that is actually affordable for the club level guy. We're not just talking a high-end professional only motorsport ECU. Yeah, absolutely. We sell a great deal of M4, 6 and 800 ECUs across the years. And now people are going to be able to get a, more, fun more functions for less money with the M1 range. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about the, uh, the upgrades as well to, you've got your GPA and you've got GPR. If you really wanted to, if you found that there was a function that just wasn't there or you needed to make some changes to that, you've got the option to then uh, basically turn it into a development ECU or buy a development, development ECU and then run M1 build and build your own firmware. Yeah, that's right. 
So if somebody wanted to, they could start with a GPA package on their ECU. If they find, found later on they needed to run traction or launch control, there's an upgrade which is just the difference between the two packages to go to GPR. They could then use the GPR package and if they found there was something that they just wanted to do that Motec did not have the firmware for them to do, they could upgrade to a full development ECU. And already available online now is the firmware and the code for GPA and GPR. So people could go and get their own firmware, they could make their own special modifications that no one else needs to know about, they could compile it, build it into their ECU, and they've got their own very customised ECU. It's the most customizations available on any ECU in the market, and it's available now. It's an incredibly powerful package for, for the sort of price point we're talking. Now, with so much power available and the price point being comparable to the existing 100 series, where does that leave that ECU range? Are you continuing with the 100 series? Yeah, look, the 100 series still does stuff that the M1 doesn't. It has some more flexibility in some areas than the M1. The M1's been more tailored to specific applications to make it a faster processing ECU that can do some tasks better than the M800 can. But it also means we can't do everything with the M1. So the M800 still has the advantage at this point of being the most flexible individual package. Look, it's really exciting and I can't wait to get my hands on one of these and, and see what we can do with it. Thanks for taking the time to talk to us today, Jamie. No problems. For online tuning courses, visit learntotune.com.